Welcome back. Reports of the flu and other respiratory illnesses are already higher than normal for this time of year. Experts say the flu season got an early start. Yes, it has the potential to get worse. Let's talk about it with global health and epidemiology professor and George Mason University doctor Amira Rowes, who's live with us here on Fox 5. Good to see you again. Good to see you too. Uh, look, we are in the midst of flu season. We're getting pressured. We're getting told, I shouldn't say pressure, that's not the right word, but we're, we're being told to get the flu shot right now. Uh, obviously, it takes an added significance these days. Let's talk about the numbers. What are we seeing? Well, we're seeing an increase in flu cases in parts of the South and even here in the D.C. area. Um, the CDC has re released a report earlier this week saying that we're really seeing uh, very high numbers in the D.C. area and in areas like Georgia um, and some other surrounding states. And so there is concern that this, the flu season is starting earlier and we're seeing um, a lot more cases than we expected. Um, one thing to note is that in the Southern Hemisphere, Australia, some of the countries in South America, we've also been seeing a pretty active flu season and there are many indications that um, we're in for a very serious flu season. There are people who looked at the numbers of the last couple of years, and especially when you look at uh, 2020 going into 2021, when a lot of us were wearing masks because we were uh, at risk, we were concerned about COVID, COVID and you, you saw at least some of those numbers change a little bit. The, the trends had changed a bit because we were being more conscious about, uh, about respiratory contact with other people at this point. So as we look ahead towards the rest of these next few months, you know, how do you stop the spread? Uh, to coin a phrase that we've heard so many times for so many different reasons. Yeah, so the first thing is going to be to make sure that you get that flu shot as soon as you can because there is a lot of virus circulating. And um, what's happened in the past couple of years is that, you know, people have been wearing masks and they've been very diligent at washing their hands and doing all of these great things to avoid getting COVID that have also helped them avoid getting flu. And so in a lot of ways, many of us haven't seen a flu virus in a couple of years. And so when our bodies are exposed to it this year, um, we have a greater chance of getting really sick unless we go ahead and get that flu vaccine. Uh, I did that just yesterday. I also got my booster. Uh, certainly felt the effects of that early on this morning. Uh, but regardless, for people who are trying to get those vaccines, considering getting those vaccines, uh, I, I would assume it's a case, not necessarily a case by case basis, but is it safe to get both uh, shots at one time if, if, it, if your schedule permits? Yeah, the CDC has indicated that it's perfectly fine for most people to go ahead and get both vaccines at the same time. Um, you will want to check with your healthcare provider if you have underlying conditions or a weakened immune system to make sure that that's the right thing for you to do. And remember that there are some guidelines from the CDC about who should go ahead and get the COVID booster. Um, they're recommending that if you've been recently infected, um, you know, less than three months ago, mm -hmm. that um, you might want to wait before you get the COVID booster. But really, everyone is eligible to go ahead and get that flu vaccine. We are incredibly fortunate fortunate around here to have uh, so many experts in the field of public health. Dr. Mira Rowes is one of them. Thanks for joining us tonight. Have a good weekend. Thank you. You too.